Hello everyone, it's Mrs Harrison here again with another story. Now today I'm going to read to you Not Now Bernard. Now this is another one that I don't actually have a copy of the book at home. It's with my mum and dad and all the books I had when I was little because this book, believe it or not, was published first in 1980. That's a long, long time ago and actually one year before I was born. Um, but I definitely remember reading this when I was little um, and also when I was teaching in the classroom and some schools before Rackham, I used to use this book quite a lot. So it's a classic and I'm sure lots of you have heard it before. If you haven't, then you're in for a treat. Not now, Bernard. Hello, Dad, said Bernard. Not now, Bernard, said his father. Look at that. You can see he's hit himself and his face has gone green because he was startled by Bernard saying hello to him. Hello, Mum said Bernard and you can see her just standing on a stool going into the kitchen cupboard not now Bernard said his mother so she looks very busy doing something there in the kitchen there's a monster in the garden and it's going to eat me said Bernard and the mum you can see there is watering the plants and then there's water all over the edge and there's a crack in the vase and she says not now Bernard said her mother. Bernard went into the garden. Hello, monster, he said to the monster. Now, that monster used to frighten me when I was little. It doesn't frighten me so much now, but it is quite scary looking. The monster ate Bernard up every bit. Look, you can see him there licking his lips and he's only got one of his trainers left in his hand. He's eating him all up. You can't see him anywhere. He's definitely been eaten. Then the monster went indoors. Ooh. Rawr! Went the monster behind Bernard's mother. She's painting the wall look green. <sighs> Not now, Bernard, said Bernard's mother. And she spilt some paint, look. She's rolling her eyes. She's fed up of Bernard get, trying to get her attention all the time. So the monster bit Bernard's father. Not now, Bernard! Look, he's gone purple this time, and look, he's got a bandage on his finger from when he hurt it earlier. And the monsters are thinking, whoa! <laughs> his face is quite funny there. Your dinner's ready, said Bernard's mother. Mm, looks like a nice dinner. She's got their sausages and beans and chips and peas. She put the dinner in front of the television. The monster ate the dinner. Look at that. He's just chucking it into his mouth. He's eating like a monster. He's holding the sausage there, saving that for later. And then he watched the television. He's climbing on the television, not sitting down sensibly. He's being a right monster. Then it read one of Bernard's comics and broke one of his toys. Looks like a robot toy. Looks like a really cool toy as well, but look. He's broken it. Go to bed. I've taken up your milk, called Bernard's mother. And the monster went upstairs. Look, at he looks quite sad there. His head's down. Something about that picture tells me the monster's not very happy. He's holding a teddy bear. Do monsters hold teddy bears when they go to bed? This one does. But I'm a monster, said the monster. Look, he's sitting there in his bed. He's got a cup of tea there, or it might be hot chocolate or something. Not now, Bernard, said Bernard's mother. And that's the end of that story. It's a very short one, but I do like it. I am wondering, those of you who are very little might be thinking, well, what's going to happen? Where has Bernard gone? When's his mum and dad going to realise that the monster's in the house? Or maybe you might be thinking, the mum and dad have already realised there's a monster in the house. And that the monster is actually Bernard because he's being a bit naughty and in, in a bad mood. Why do you think he's in a bad mood? Maybe he's fed up of being ignored. I know we all feel like that sometimes, but you have to remember that your mums and dads and people who are looking after you are really busy right now trying to do a million things at once. So if they say not now to you, try and make sure you don't turn into a purple monster. Okay, thank you. Speak to you tomorrow. Bye.